Hey guys, Olivia here, and today we will be doing a 10 to 15 minute stretch strengthening exercises with these resistance bands. So what's great about these resistance bands is that this one is a little bit more hard and like tougher to use, and this one is a little bit more less like harder to use. And also what's awesome about these is that they show you exactly where the center is so you can know exactly where to place your foot so that it's even on both sides. So without further ado, let's get right to it. So I'm gonna be starting out with a tougher band and we're gonna start with our feet. So obviously as a dancer, feet are so important to keep strong and flexible. So you can stretch your feet and strengthen your feet while using a resistance band. So for the first exercise, you're gonna place your foot right in the center and flex it out. The other one can just be relaxed to the side. And what we're gonna do is point and flex through our ankles, and this is gonna strengthen your foot. I'm using the tougher band, but if you're not used to this, you might want to use a like, softer band just to get started. But we're gonna do like 20 of these. Really try to spread your toes when you're doing this exercise to use all the muscles in your feet. And it's gonna start to burn, but when it burns, just keep pushing through it and it'll be worth it. Extending it out, we're gonna do 20 of these. If you guys wanna intensify it, you can also cross the band for even more of a out. So now we're going to be putting both feet on each side of the middle of this. And what you're going to do is flex out your feet. And this is now for your arms. So this is going to be like a full body exercise and stretch. So what you're going to do is pull back and do some triceps. I love how this is expand out of my outside. <laughs> Seven, eight. This is hard, especially with the harder band. Nine and ten. Okay, now you guys can flex it out and just stretch there. Backs. And I'm still using the harder band, but feel free to like interchange with whatever level band you want to use for the whole thing. Because what works for me doesn't work for everybody, and it's okay, so whatever you want to do. So now we're going to be warming up our hips here. We're going to bend and flex. This is really good for your hamstrings.
do this about eight times. Six, seven, and eight. And each time you wanna pull a little bit more if you can. Now you're gonna take the band into one hand and stretch out your side stretch. So we wanna pull all the way to the side and bring that leg as close to your head as you can. And we're just gonna hold that there while we're trying to pull, 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 pull. Just breathing and holding. Good guys. Now this is gonna be really nice for the side of our legs, which sometimes we miss when we're stretching, but our IT band gets super tight, especially when dancing. So now we're gonna go diagonally across, try to get that elbow to the floor, and we're gonna hold that there. This is, it's crazy. It doesn't really look like I'm doing anything that extreme, but I feel a stretch going through my whole side of my leg here. And this is a really important part of your body that you guys need to stretch. a little bit more and release okay shake that out we're gonna go to the left side doing the same thing putting our foot right in the middle and laying on our backs to extend it up we're gonna take eight flex plies here we go elbows on the floor warming up that hip pulling even more each time Now we're gonna pull these two bands together and put it into our right hand as we slide it out to the side, stretching our left leg and pulling that band as close as you can to your head. Just breathing and holding, breathing through the stretch. Good, pull a little bit more, pull a little bit more. And release that, good. Okay, now we're gonna do that same IT band stretch, pulling it across your body, elbow to the ground, if you can, and hold that there. Good, a few more seconds. Good, okay, this next exercise is for the butt. So we all love exercise for the butt. So here we go. We're gonna take the stretch band. I'm still using the harder band, but when we stand up, I'll probably start going into the lighter band because it's a little bit more difficult. But as we're on the floor, I like to use the harder band. So what we're gonna do for this one is we're gonna put the flex band right on our hips and we're gonna hold the band to the side and what we're gonna do is go up and down and it's gonna resist as you go up. So this is like super good to help with your turnout muscles that we're always using in ballet all the time. So this is just gonna really help lift and sculpt. So let's do 20 of these, all right? Here we go. Six, seven, eight, I already feel the burn. Nine, ten. Keep going, halfway there. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20, good. Stretch that out in butterfly because we're going right back down. We're gonna do the right leg up, same thing. 10 with the right leg up. This is super focused onto the left. Keep that band there, strong arms down. We're gonna take 10. One.
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice guys, other leg up right away. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight, taking ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice guys. I feel the burn. Take a butterfly, stretch that out for a second. Good, another stretch. We're gonna go onto our stomachs. This is good for the quads. You're gonna take your foot, putting it in the middle, and just resting there, stretching out that quad. Holding for like 20 seconds, stretching that quad out. This one feels nice, nicer than the exercises. <laughs> Good. And it's child pose. Good. Okay, now we're gonna get ready to stand up. So standing. And now I'm going into the band that's a little bit less hard. So same thing, place your foot right in the center dot of that band. These are for your arms now. So we're gonna do some rows. The first one we're gonna do is gonna be in a right lunge. So place your right foot out and the left foot behind you. And we're gonna take 10 rowing motions, okay? So we're pulling up. Two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, go up as high as you can. Nine, ten. Good, now we're gonna take it to the left. Place that foot in the center. Get set in your lunge. Now we're gonna take 10 more. Here we go. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, keep pulling, eight, nine, ten. Nice, starting to feel the burn. Now we're gonna do both feet in the center. Even that out, place them right there. We're doing the same thing, pulling. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Drop that band, shake it out. Stretch out your arms. Super important to stretch in between exercises. That way we don't. We're gonna take the band on the right foot, right arm, and we're gonna just have this like come up and down. So this is like super hard, but it's really good for your supporting leg. We're gonna take 10, nice and slow. Three, four, flex foot. Five, barely letting that leg touch the floor. Six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. 
shake that out. Let's do the other side. Here we go. Left arm, left foot. With a nice, strong supporting leg. We're gonna lift up 10 times. Here we go, one, two, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good guys. That was really hard. So now we're gonna go into something super advanced. So this is like optional, but I thought I would throw in like something kind of like fun and hard at the end. See if anybody wants to take the challenge on and try it. So Another great thing is like if you are working on extensions and flexibility and trying to really get strong so you can bring your legs up and extend them as high as ever and be super strong on your legs, using a resistance band is really good to help with this because it like basically tricks your body into like the resistance and like finding exactly where you want to be on your leg. So we're going to start with the right leg and the same thing, put your foot in the center and you're gonna take it onto one hand and basically guide your leg up like this. So you might not be super solid at first, but the more you keep working on this, the more it's gonna become more easy for you. And then we can like slowly work on dipping down. And using this band, to help balance us. So like, sometimes when I'm holding the band, I think like I'm holding the bar. So it tricks my mind into thinking that I'm holding on to something. But really, I'm not holding on to anything. So it's super, like, it's super good to help me balance. Now let's see how the left side's gonna go. So everyone, let's take the left. This might be some people's good side, but this is not my good side, but we still have to do both sides. Always do both sides of everything, because we want our bodies to be even. And it's really important. So here we go, left. Bringing up that leg. Slow and steady. And once you find your center, you can work on it to go down. Yeah, so my left side still needs a little bit of work, which is okay. So you can take it again if you guys need to practice that. I'm gonna take the left again because, yeah. Trying to bend it down. And release. Yeah, I felt better about that one. Okay. Let me check if I missed anything, but I think I didn't. Oh yeah, one last thing on the floor. Easy stretch, love this because it's really nice for side extensions on the floor, in your solos, if you're doing side legs, whatever it is. Um, I'm gonna go back to the hard band. And what I'm gonna do is put it right in the middle of my foot, wrap it, cross it, and I'm basically gonna extend my leg up and then I'm gonna sit onto my side and try to pull that back. This is a great stretch. So you really want to pull and just hold because it's hard to stretch this, like especially alone. So when you have these resistance bands, it's a great tool, especially if you don't have someone to help you stretch. This band will be like your best friend. Good. And come out of it. We'll do the left side. Thing on your side, pull it up, and then you try to kind of put it into the other hand behind your head as you stretch. Going as far as you can, pulling that leg.
Good, guys. And come out of it nice and slow. All right, guys. That pretty much wraps it up. I hope that you guys learned some new ways to use your resistance bands, maybe some cool new ways that you didn't know before. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that you guys practice these things. Thank you guys so much for watching and check out Capizio. Thank you.